Pasta, pizza, and cookies may make you feel great in the moment, but there are some concerning side effects you should be aware of before taking another bite. 18 million impacted Americans, with an added 39 million 500,000 to 474 million people affected globally. What is the problem? Gluten. Gluten intolerance is a widespread phenomenon. Gluten sensitivity is characterized by unfavorable responses to wheat, barley, and rye proteins. Gluten intolerance has several origins, including celiac disease, non-celiac gluten sensitivity, and a wheat allergy. All three types of gluten intolerance may result in a broad range of symptoms, many of which are unrelated to digestion. What is gluten? Gluten refers to the proteins present in wheat, wheat berries, durum, emmer, semolina, spelt, farina, farro, gram, carosin wheat, inkhorn, rye, barley, and triticale, a wheat-rye hybrid. Gluten aids in food preservation by functioning as a glue that keeps food together. Gluten may be present in a variety of foods, including some unexpected ones. Gluten, which derives from the Latin word for glue, is composed of two proteins, prolamins and glutilins. If you experience any of the 15 symptoms in this video, you may have a gluten intolerance. Number 15, abdominal pains. Gluten is known to cause several digestive issues. In fact, this is one of the key reasons why individuals avoid gluten, even those without gluten sensitivity. In a study conducted between 1990 and 1997, before and after a gluten-free diet, 215 patients with celiac disease were evaluated. 80% of the participants examined for six gastrointestinal complaints reported stomach discomfort. And after following a gluten-free diet, this percentage dropped dramatically to less than 1%. Anxiety and depression. Depression affects around 6% of individuals annually. The symptoms, which often entail despair and melancholy, may have a significant impact on everyday living. Individuals with digestive disorders seem to be more susceptible to anxiety and depression than those without underlying illnesses. Depression and anxiety are extremely prevalent among celiac disease patients. There are many hypotheses on the link between gluten intolerance and depression. These consist of atypical amounts of serotonin, Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that enables the communication between cells. It is generally referred to as the happy hormone, since low levels have been linked to depression. Gluten exorphins. These peptides are produced by the digestion of some gluten proteins. They may impair the central nervous system, hence increasing the risk of depression. Changes in the gut microbiome. An increase in dangerous bacteria and a reduction in helpful bacteria may affect the central nervous system, hence raising the risk of depression. Number 13, diarrhea, constipation, and smelly feces. After consuming gluten, individuals with celiac disease have inflammation in the small intestine. This causes damage to the intestinal lining and poor absorption of nutrients, resulting in substantial digestive pain and recurrent diarrhea or constipation. Frequent diarrhea may cause significant health issues, including electrolyte loss, dehydration, and exhaustion. Due to inadequate nutritional absorption, patients with celiac disease may also develop pale, foul-smelling stools. Number 12, fatigue. It is typical for people with autoimmune illnesses, such as celiac disease, to experience fatigue. Multiple variables are believed to contribute to exhaustion in celiac disease patients, including chronic pain, sleep disturbances, and psychiatric problems such as depression. Celiac disease may also be associated with an increased risk of iron deficiency anemia, which impairs the body's ability to create healthy red blood cells. Number 11, skin problems. Gluten intolerance may affect the skin. Dermatitis herpetiformis, a blistering skin ailment, is one sign of celiac disease. Although everyone with celiac disease is sensitive to gluten, some individuals with the illness may not exhibit the characteristic stomach symptoms. In fact, a gluten-free diet has been linked to improvements in a number of other skin disorders. Among them are psoriasis. This inflammatory disorder is marked by skin scaling and redness. Alopecia areata. 
This autoimmune condition that manifests as hair loss without scarring. Chronic urticaria. This skin disorder is characterized by recurring itchy pink or red lesions with pale cores. Number 10, nasal congestion. A wheat allergy may also manifest itself with symptoms such as sneezing, nasal congestion, and runny nose. People who suffer from Baker's asthma are characterized by a heightened incidence of these symptoms. This is an allergic disorder that may be created by constantly breathing in bread flour, which can ultimately result in greater sensitivity to wheat or other grains. Nearly 89% of individuals who suffered symptoms of Baker's asthma also reported nasal symptoms, such as congestion. Following the findings of a research that was conducted on 100 162 employees of bread factories. Number 9. Bloating With 73% of people reporting it, bloating is one of the top three most reported symptoms of celiac disease. Bloating is a typical symptom of a wide variety of gastrointestinal illnesses. You've undoubtedly had the feeling of bloating if you've ever exclaimed, I feel like I could burst. In most cases, bloating happens after a person has eaten, and it is possible to define it as swelling of the stomach caused by an excess of gas in the digestive tract or dietary allergies that disturb the digestive system. Number 8. Brain Fog in a study with 125 people who had a non-celiac gluten sensitivity, or NCGS, 48% of those surveyed reported having brain fog as one of their symptoms. Other prominent symptoms were gastrointestinal pain, exhaustion, headaches, and irritability. The sensation of being unable to think clearly is what people mean when they talk about having brain fog. People who've experienced it have mentioned symptoms such as being forgetful, having difficulties thinking, suffering mental tiredness, and feeling cloudy. These symptoms began to manifest themselves about 90 minutes after consuming gluten and went away after 48 hours. It is possible that this symptom is brought on by a response to particular antibodies found in gluten, but the real explanation is still a mystery. Number 7. Canker Sores Canker sores may be caused by a wide variety of circumstances, including genetic predisposition, dietary inadequacies, viral and bacterial infections, and abnormalities in the immune system or endocrine system. About 6% of those who have gluten sensitivity report that this is one of their symptoms. This is most likely a consequence of the inflammation that develops in the mucous membrane that lines the interior of the mouth. Number 6. Headaches the occasional onset of a headache or migraine is something that a lot of people have to deal with. Migraine is a very prevalent ailment that affects around one in every six adults in the United States. However, a number of studies have shown that those who are gluten intolerant may be more susceptible to experiencing migraines than other people. It's possible that you're sensitive to gluten if you suffer from recurrent headaches or migraine attacks, for which there is no obvious explanation. Number five, autoimmune disorders. Celiac disease is a kind of gluten sensitivity that is also considered to be an autoimmune illness. This is due to the fact that the immune system mistakes gluten for a foreign intruder, which causes it to target healthy cells and cause damage to the small intestine. According to research, having celiac disease raises your risk of getting other autoimmune illnesses such as autoimmune thyroid disease and liver disease, type 1 diabetes, and inflammatory bowel disease. Number 4. Painful Bones and Joints are bone fractures something that often happens to you? Are your bones becoming more fragile as a result of osteoporosis? Is the discomfort from your rheumatoid arthritis becoming worse with each passing day? These symptoms might point to an intolerance to gluten, such as celiac disease, as well as the inflammation that often accompanies this condition. Research has shown that the foods you eat may have a significant impact on how well you manage pain. In particular, a diet devoid of gluten is anti-inflammatory, which helps ease the discomfort that is associated with bones and joints. Number 3. Numbness in the arms or legs An unexpected added symptom of gluten intolerance is neuropathy, which manifests as tingling or numbness in the limbs, especially the arms and legs. People who suffer from diabetes and an inability to absorb vitamin B12 are more likely to develop this illness. Toxic exposure and long-term abuse of alcohol may also bring on this condition. On the other hand, there is data that shows those who have celiac disease may also have a greater chance of getting this neuropathy, which may be brought on by the presence of specific antibodies. Number 2. Iron Deficiency 
Iron deficiency is one of the most prevalent nutritional deficiencies identified in celiac disease and non-celiac gluten sensitivity individuals. The most prevalent sign of iron insufficiency is persistent tiredness. Even when appropriate sleep has been obtained, patients often feel acute energy loss. This energy deficiency may also lead to significant brain fog and problems with mental clarity. Iron deficiency is sometimes mistaken for low thyroid or hypothyroidism. Iron deficiency and gluten intolerance are often seen together. In several ways, gluten may contribute to iron deficiency. Iron malabsorption is often caused by small intestine injury or villus atrophy. Additionally, gluten may harm the cells of the stomach that produce acid. Since acid is needed for iron absorption, this often results in anemia, even in the absence of identified villus atrophy. Anemia results in oxygen deprivation, which may impair the body's ability to create energy, which can induce a cyclical condition of healing inhibition. Number one, attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder. Diet seems to have a part in their children's ADHD symptoms, and many parents have eliminated food colorants, chemicals, and sugar from their children's diets in an attempt to control the disorder. However, current studies point to gluten as a possible cause of ADHD symptoms. In one study, 67 individuals with ADHD were screened for celiac disease. Participant ages varied from 7 to 42 years. 15% of individuals tested positive for celiac disease, this is far greater than the incidence of celiac disease in the general population, which is around 1%. The patients or their parents reported substantial improvements in behavior and functioning after beginning a gluten-free diet. And these changes were supported by ratings on a checklist used by doctors to evaluate the severity of ADHD symptoms. When gluten-free items moved from non-existence to hip and trendy, many felt it was a passing craze. However, as you may well know, gluten-free products are here to stay. If you have any of the 15 symptoms mentioned, you may be gluten intolerant. In most circumstances, you may feel better without using medications or resorting to drastic measures. You need to drop gluten from your diet at once. 